So just find yourself somewhere comfy, just to sit, to relax. And all I want you to do, just to start with, is just focus on your breathing. Focus on your breathing. Be aware of, as you take that breath in, that even on a warm day, cool day, you notice the temperature of the air as it goes in through the nose. Notice how that breath can relax your entire body. And just being aware to focus on that breath. You can use that just to relax your entire body. So being aware of being aware of your forehead, the muscles around your forehead relaxing. Being aware of face muscles relaxing and as the face muscles relax, allowing that feeling just to spread down into the neck and the shoulders, feeling the heaviness of the arms, it's nice just to relax, just to relax. wherever you're sitting, laying, and that feeling just spreading down into the hips, tops of the legs, all the way down, all the way to the feet, just allowing yourself just to take those next few breaths, almost allow them like a wave of relaxation. Your eyes closed if and when they're ready to. Just allowing me just to take you on a journey. A journey through a garden. So if you wish, you don't even need to close your eyes on this. You can just focus on the pictures. If you wish, just listen to the sound of my voice. What I want you to do is imagine. Imagine I'm going to take you around the most beautiful garden. Plants growing, fruits growing. This is your journey. So as you arrive there, what I want you to do is imagine right now. You arrive in that garden. And just looking at the pots on the wall full of flowers and the first thing you notice is that pink flower and as you look a bit closer you can see all those little intricate parts of that flower that bring it together and wandering around that garden wondering what each and every plant might smell like to the different colours of the plant give a different scent as you just look around and maybe as you continue to explore just a little bit further, where else might you find all those black currants? So good, so full, you could almost eat them. You can see they're just perfectly there, ready to be picked. Hundreds of them, ready, ripe. But let's just carry on exploring just a little bit further. What else might be in this garden? Maybe, maybe little ornaments lost behind bushes and as you look, you notice this ornament, actually as you look a bit closer, is a bird box. What might have been nesting, a little robin, a little wren, hiding in there. This is a garden for exploring, as you continue looking at all the greens, the different greens, they just blend together in with the plants. The hydrangeas, the colour, the pink. That pink that almost just stands out like the sun as you just look. That incredible plant. Just continuing, exploring through that garden. It's nice just to look and wonder what might be beyond that fence. It's interesting just to peer through, wondering the brambles, slightly blocking it. And behind, it opens up two chairs on a hot summer's day, you know, would be perfect just to sit in the shade and enjoy. Would you be left or right, pink or blue? What else might be beyond in that garden? And as you just continue to explore, you decide to look a little bit deeper into that garden. I want you to imagine as you come around that corner, first of those fruits, look at those pears just growing. It's almost as if you could put your hand in and just grab one of those. They're just perfect, ready to eat.
And just imagine as you continue to look and imagine around that garden and explore. What else is there? That apple tree absolutely laden. Hundreds, thousands probably of apples. Ready. Ready to be picked. Look at the colour of them. The water, the dew just dropping off of them. And you can imagine those fresh apple pies. Each and every one of those apples ready to be eaten. That tree there for many years. And as you just continue to walk down and around that tree, you can see the curve and imagine the fun just sitting in that tree. The thought of a small child climbing. What else might be in this garden? Let's continue to explore that shed full of interesting things. Trees growing, shade in that bottom of the garden, and that tree and that bark. Well, you know, if you rubbed your hand across it, you'd feel all the age and the wrinkles and the different parts of it. And it's good just to look up, to stare up, to imagine how far that tree goes into the sky. And just following it, the different parts of that tree incredible colours and as you just continue beyond that tree to the end of that garden I want you to imagine what else you might find and as you continue in the shade at the bottom of the garden plums almost ready to eat that tree laden those plums, hundreds and hundreds. Wouldn't it be great once they're ripe just to pick them all off and just sit on a nice warm autumn day and enjoy that fruit. And just allowing yourself just to imagine. That relaxation just rolling through the entire body, feeling your body just relax, almost like it's had that walk in the garden. When you're ready to and only when you're ready to. Bringing that count back to five, bring you back refreshed, relaxed. Almost like that power nap, so one two, three, being aware of your whole body, wherever it is, chair, bed, couch, four, five, just bring yourself back in to the here and now, bringing that calmness back right now into the moment. <laughs> 